Welcome to Meeples on Meeples, episode 89. I'm Adam. And I'm Brian. Before we get into our discussion this week, we want to invite you over to all of our social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, follow along, as well as our YouTube channel where you can see all of our videos and reviews, and uh, follow along and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as well as our website, meeplesandmeeples.com, where you'll, again you'll see our reviews and some of the articles we've posted. In this episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. We've done comparison videos before, but uh, this week we're going to be comparing two games that definitely are comparable to one another, not just, oh, they're the same theme or the same genre. We're going to be comparing the Game of Thrones, the Iron Throne, with Cosmic Encounter. From the same uh, publisher. Some of the same designers. Same system. 75% of the rules are identical. Yeah. So it's a pretty fair comparison, I think, overall. So let's start with uh, components. I, I, Overall, I mean, because it's Fantasy Flight, the components are, are just great in both of them. I mean, I don't know if I, I think there's one that's necessarily better than the other. Um, whereas in Game of Thrones, you have the little crowns that are your power. Again, a well-detailed little kind of miniature. In Cosmic Encounter, you got the ships that represent it. So, I mean, it, that's... Uh, and they're fairly they, comparable. They both stack... This might be the one category that I'm going to come out in favor of Cosmic. <laughs> the ships stack in such a way, those little flying saucers, that it's pretty right. easy to tell when there's four. When you have the crowns nested inside of each other, piled up, oh, it can be really hard to tell how much influence or how much power is on them. I mean, there'll be at times in the game where you have to say, hey, can you either tell me or show me how many crowns you have? You might be better off just spreading them out on yeah. the characters or whatever. Uh, the crowns look cool, and thematically they're awesome, and they're high quality, it's just it's hard to see them if they're stacked the way that they're intended to be stacked. Um, but the art style is great in both. I mean, just the, the components, it's, the I'd almost say it's a wash. Yeah, the card quality is good. The only big difference is, like, at Cosmic, you have your planets, and they're, you know, just the, your color for that, True. Uh, for that game. And this, you have your characters, so it's individual, you know, the character's picture on them. And then you've got the little circle of the houses where your influence is. Yeah, instead of, you know, the, the warp in the yeah. center with the little pieces. It's, maybe Game of Thrones has it a little bit better there because it's got an established, uh, <laughs> an established theme to work with versus Cosmic where they're just kind of giving you a general, okay, this is a space theme. Anything else component-wise that you can think of? Otherwise, just great all around. Right, let's talk about the theme for the games, and I'll jump right in. Uh, Game of Thrones has the benefit of having a, a great backstory to it. The books, the TV show, I mean, so it has a lot to build on, and it really, I think, capitalizes on that very well. It, the houses are, are very thematic, the people that are a part of each house, um, the pieces, how that all plays into the theme, the crowns for the power. The, the power, uh, uh, special abilities of the characters kind of match their personality in the show. The backstabbing, the, the, the taking of hostages, the betrayals, all that stuff plays very well into what Game of Thrones is. Yeah, I would say the, the vying for power really comes through. The spreading <clears throat> of influence makes sense. They're all vying for the throne. So Game of Thrones benefits greatly from that. The problem with Cosmic is it's, is its own... I mean, it's its own story, and it doesn't have anything to build on. That's it's a true. space theme. <laughs> Bunch of random aliens, which which does work for it in a way. All these mm -hmm. different alien species having different abilities and things. Um, but yeah, when you have award-winning novels and television show to draw from, you might benefit from that somewhat. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't really have a backstory for why all these aliens are, are fighting each other, no. um, where they come from. I mean, it's... It's really just more of a mechanism for the gameplay in Cosmic versus... In Game of Thrones, it's furthering the story, making you a player in the story, I guess, in a sort of way. I agree with that, yeah. So, I mean, overall, and again, this might be one of the only areas where I'll come out and say this, I, I think theme-wise, Game of Thrones probably wins I think that, is that Game of Thrones 2, Cosmic no, no, 0? No. Next up is comparing gameplay. Uh, as I said before, they're about 75% same when it comes to the rules and how they're played. But that 25% makes a world of difference. Well, yeah. Good or bad, I guess. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to throw out Game of Thrones um, plays much quicker. I think, as you said, it's a, a tighter game. Yes. I've... I lo and I love Cosmic. I'm, I'm, clearly, I'm coming out on the side of Game of Thrones, but 
Cosmic is in my top five. Maybe this might have bumped in it, but still in my top ten games. I mean, I love Cosmic Encounter. We've played it many, many times. Um, but the problem is I've had games of Cosmic Encounter that have lasted 20 minutes. And then we had that one game of Cosmic Encounter that went on for about three hours, and I was miserable, and we were all like, okay, this needs to end. It's just too swingy because you can take back your planets. And I think that's a problem with Cosmic. You can take back the planets, you can boot somebody off the planet, so then I move down the score tracker, and I don't have the five influence or whatever I need to win, you know, the five different colonies. Whereas this, once you move the influence, no one can take it away from you, and a long game of this would be an hour and a half. Yeah, that's probably fair. I mean, as far as the length of the game. The, the length of the game, I think, has to go to Game of Thrones. I'm sorry. I love Cosmic, but a three-hour game of Cosmic Encounters, it, the fun is gone. And that's where I'd have to disagree with you. Part of the fun of Cosmic is the kind of the craziness of it, the, the different abilities. I mean, we've had the certain aliens where you actually switch abilities in mid-game. Um, kind of the swinginess of it, of that gameplay, being able to take back your own planets, is what I consider fun. Now, three hours may be a little excessive, but it, it's... In the three hour and the long games we've had, I've still had fun almost the entire time. There's, there's only been one game I can think of where that went that, got, That's true. Most of them are under two hours, yeah. but... And it, so it's, it can be long, but it's got a, a kind of a crazy fun uh, atmosphere to it. Game of Thrones is much quicker, but you don't get that, that craziness. I mean, I don't think we were laughing as much when we played it. Really, we, we, um, we, laughed, it. we laughed quite a bit. We did have fun. Yes, we did. You <laughs> yeah, say what... I'm going to have to disagree with you. I think those powers, what they did with Cosmic is they just expand, expanded. There's like 60, 70 alien races oh, to the point where they had to just keep making stuff up. Yeah. And they did play test to see, is this balanced? Some of them are very broken and ridiculous. Wonderfully broken. I no. I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an oxymoron. No. no, some of those aliens are so powerful or just stupid abilities. Whereas in Game of Thrones, the ability matches the leader. And they, they, they can be swinging, but they all feel a little more balanced and a little, like they've been kept in check a little bit. One thing I will give you gameplay-wise that I, I think I like in Game of Thrones is the hostage ability. The way that plays into it. Because both games, you're negotiating with the other players. You're, so, yeah, you're supposed side. to be bartering, stabbing people in the back. Game of Thrones gives you that extra push because if you have a hostage, you can say, hey, either I'm going to torture this guy if you don't help me or I'm going to release him if you do help me. So you, you got things you can hold over each other, and I think that's a really um, neat gameplay uh, ability that they added into Game of Thrones. So I'll give them that. But it's... As Game of Thrones is a very serious kind of game, I, I think it's a, a, little darker, serious, a serious story. It, that kind of plays into the game a little more, and you just... It, it's hard to explain. You don't have the fun and the unexpectedness. No, and you the, don't have the fun. <laughs> <laughs> and the... the just the again the craziness and i know i've said that a bunch of playing uh cosmic encounter versus game of thrones then let's talk about this newbie friendly which one of these is is more friendly towards new players which which one do you feel a non-gamer might, might pick up quicker or easier. That's unfair because almost everybody loves Game of Thrones. So you're just going to... Oh, I've been, seen the show. Yeah. That might have been a loaded question. <laughs> um, I, I do think, though, the, that you you drag out Cosmic Encounter, they look at the goofy artwork, and you explain it, and I think people are going to be like, what if they never play that type of game? I, I if think you show them the artwork here, and it's Game of Thrones, and they can see, oh, like, oh yeah, that character is stabbing each other in the back. There are, I think there's actually maybe a few more rules than this, mm -hmm. just because of the hostages. I don't think they're more complicated by any means, but I think they'll be more open to learning this. From from the theme. But as far as either game goes, I, think I mean, you're, these aren't newbie games where you're going to bring somebody in completely cold that's never played board games to, to try either of these out. Especially Game of Thrones. Like you said, it's, I'd say Game of Thrones is actually the more complicated game. With the extra rules? To some degree, but it's, I just remember we had looked to the rule book so many times our first few games of Cosmic Encounter because of some of those ridiculously swingy and broken rules. But the beauty of Cosmic Encounter is that if the alien ability card gives you a rule that would break the game, the alien ability card controls. And that's, and that's <laughs> true here, too. It just doesn't happen as often. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're getting a little bit off the gameplay and more into our final thoughts, obviously, here. But, I mean, there are things that they add in Game of Thrones to tighten the gameplay uh, shorten the game. Shorten the gameplay. The hostage ability, like I said, I think is a great addition. Overall, they are about seventy-five percent the same. 
Um, I would agree. Same DNA for sure. Exactly. It's just uh, it depends on the type of person you are to which one, which gameplay you're gonna like. More. If you have one, should you buy the other? Because that's what people watching this video are gonna ask. They're gonna be like, okay, so I've had Cosmic for years. I got the expansions. I can play up to whatever, however many players now. Should I drop another fifty bucks? I'd say so, and probably just because of the theme and the, the what it's built off of. It's built off of Game of Thrones. Again, people love the show, love the books. I would agree. I think that you could get this to the table maybe a little more often. So again, because that time constraint. Yeah, is. and then the other part is it's a shorter game. So if you you got people that are already inclined to Game of Thrones, you don't have a lot of time. You can pull pull this one out, and then Cosmic Encounters when you have three hours to waste. <laughs> and maybe more hardcore yeah, gamers yeah. or whatever. Exactly. Um, I'm gonna kind of add to that a little bit. That I think there's definitely a, a subset of people who hate Cosmic. Like, there's people who think it's the greatest game of all time, and yeah. there's some people who think it's a terrible, broken game. Even if you hate, and this is just my opinion, Cosmic, I think you might like Game of Thrones because it's not as broken or swingy or ridiculous, which can be fun yeah. at times, but you might be able to get those people to play this, whereas they're going to avoid Cosmic like the plague. Well, I think that's true. I mean, if they, if they don't like the... the those aspects of Cosmic, which is probably the majority of people that don't like Cosmic. It's for those reasons. Game of Thrones, I think they, it was made by Fantasy Flight for those people. I think so. Okay, right, so, so final thoughts, final pick. I'd say of the two, Cosmic Encounter, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. And I, I would say... You know, on the other side of that, I, obviously I'm more of a no, no, put that in there. <laughs> put it, put it, put it. In. Cosmic Encounter, I think, is for me the better game, um, and it just comes down to the player interaction and how much fun we've had playing it. I didn't, it's not that I didn't have fun playing Game of Thrones, but the craziness, the wackiness, the swinginess, the brokenness <laughs> of Cosmic Encounter, I enjoy. It just makes the game a lot of fun, especially for our group. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe your group is more of a Game of Thrones group, a bunch of I could see that. hardcore people and the fantasy element of it, and that may work for you. But for our group, the group that just wants to get together and have fun, I think Cosmic Encounter is just... And for the record, the rest of the group does agree with Adam. I'm the lone gunman here. But let's, let's throw this out to you. Comment below. Drop us a line, let us know, give us some feedback. What do you think? If you played the Game of Thrones and you played Cosmic, where do you fall? Which one is the better game? Yeah, and Cosmic is, but we'll go back. <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs>